Mike Burns picks up his fifth strikeout. Strikes on Ethier, and he struck him out. Burns is having a career day at Miller Park. Mike Burns rings up Russell Martin. Hey guys, Coach Mike here, and today we're going to go over a drill on fielding bunts by the pitcher. In this drill, you're going to have four balls set up. I have them set up to two on each side. And as we make our movement, the pitcher is going to go through their motion. As he lands, they're going to break to the ball. We'll always start from the left going to the right. On this first one, you're going to attack the ball. You're going to stay low. You're going to feel this bunt like it's rolling. Gather your hands to the middle of your body. Shuffle your feet, staying low, and making a good throw right through your target. My buddy Joaquin here, he's left-handed. So it's a lot more difficult for the lefty. As the lefty attacks the ball, he's going to try to get around the ball and field that ball, gathering it in the middle of his body, staying low, shuffling, and making a good throw. This is a very tough throw for a lot of pitchers because that throw from here to first base is a lot closer than from the pitcher's mound to home plate. And therefore, a lot of times, kids want to stand up, and, or even professionals. They stand tall, and as they stand tall, that's when their throw takes off on them. On the next one, same thing. As we get to this next ball, as a right-hander, I'm going to get to it, field it, gather it to the middle of my body, shuffle, staying low, and make a good throw right through my target. Nothing changes for the lefty. You're going to get around it, gather, stay low, and make a good throw. On the balls to the right, these are the ones that we want to pretend like which they are, which the ball's not rolling on this one. So as we make our pitch, we're going to attack that ball. As a right-handed pitcher, I want to put my right foot next to that ball. I want to push the ball into the ground with my bare hand, bring it up, and make a good throw. A lot of times when you just try to go and grab it, the ball kind of slips out of your hand because you're rushing. The key on this is to, as soon as you get to that ball, push the ball into the ground when you go to grab it, shuffle your feet, and make a nice good throw. For the lefty, same thing as you get to it, you're going to turn your body, you're going to plant with your left foot, push that ball into the ground, shuffle and make a good throw. On the last one, that ball is further away, so it's going to be a lot quicker play at first base. So on this one, we're not going to have time to shuffle. So as we break to this ball, same thing for a righty. I want to step with that ball on the outside of my right foot, push the ball in the ground, and as I'm pushing, I'm loading on this leg, and I'm just going to plant, step, and throw. There's no shuffle here because with that ball down the third base line and that runner moving down the line, it's, a lot good. it's going to be a lot closer play. I don't have time to make a shuffle. So I want to make sure I plant, push that ball into the ground, step, and throw. And for Joaquin as a lefty, he's going to attack it, turn, plant, push that ball in the ground, load up, step, and throw without a shuffle. From left to right. Good, he gets around it, gathers himself, stays low, makes a good throw. Very nice. Breaks hard off the mound, gets around that ball, gathers. Good. Plant, good, that's all right. Now, as you go and step and you push, make sure we push that ball into the ground on this last one. Good, doesn't have time to shuffle, he had to load up, very nice. 
Good work, Joaquin. And that there, guys, is just a drill fielding bunts. Go out there, outwork, outplay. Click the links below to check out the power knit gear used in this drill. And while you're at it, go ahead and drop a comment.